Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And this stupid comment is brought to you by Bibi Litu. Uh oh, somebody made a dumb comment again. So somehow in the deep, dark dungeons of this man's mind, he seems to think that Alat is the daughter of Allah. You naughty naughty, I told you, I told you. But what do I have in front of me right here? Oh my God, it's the Quran and it's saying something completely different. Surprise. So let's read the Quran and let's read the whole context. Something that a lot of Christians don't do even when it comes to their own Bible. Here we go, Bismillah. Now, have you considered the idols of Lat and Na'uzza and the third one, Manat, as well? Do you prefer to have sons while you attribute to him daughters? Then this is truly a biased distribution. These idols are mere names that you and your forefathers have made up a practice Allah has never authorized. They follow nothing but inherited assumptions and whatever their souls desire, although true guidance has already come to them from their Lord. Ow. Ouch. Did you feel that one? Did you feel it? So basically, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself in the Qur'an is disowning his daughter. Does anybody disown their daughter? No. And Allah is saying that he didn't authorize this for people to say it. And that it was the pagan Arabs that made it up, not him. Tu sabes que bibilito? Tu sabes nada. You see, Allah has no partner. Allah has no daughters. Allah has no sons. Allah doesn't need. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ اللَّهُ السَّمَدٌ لَمْ يَلِدُ وَلَمْ يُولَدُ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٌ Bibi Litu, you are the weakest link. Goodbye.